Hi, hi guys, and welcome to this retelling of one of rock and roll's legendary stories. The Sex Pistols infamous Nashville Fight Night of 1976. <laughs> By April 1976, the Sex Pistols, this young, virtually unknown fledgling band, had started to make a name for themselves around about London. They had already recorded one demo session with Chris Spedding and were soon to be doing more demos with live sound producer Dave Goodman. Gigging around the West London circuit, they managed to procure some gigs at the famous Nashville Ruins in West Kensington. This was the place that 20 days earlier to this event they had supported the 101ers whose frontman Woody saw them and decided that's it my band is finished and changed his name to Joe Strummer and joined The Clash. But it was the 23rd of April with the Pistols playing their own gig at the Nashville Ruins when the trouble occurred. The gig itself was going off without a hitch, with some mild but pleasant applause from the Pistols hangers-on, some known as the Bromley Contingent, and a group of what we would now term as hippies in the audience. The trouble started to occur during the Pistols song Pretty Vacant, towards the end of their set. Vivian Westwood had just returned from the toilets to find another girl had sat in her seat right at the front of the small stage. This enraged her, so she decided to go over and pull the girl by the hair from her seat. An argument ensued, and the girl's boyfriend, who seemingly did not want to have an altercation with the pistols and their coterie of followers, decided to try and pull the two women off each other. Unfortunately, this then led Malcolm McLaren into the fray to give the man a glancing blow to the face. As soon as this happened, a fight ensued. Everything erupted, to the point where even members of the Pistols downed their instruments and jumped in to help out their fans and friends. Of course, there was no video evidence of what went on that night, but there were a couple of photographers who were interested in capturing this new thing, which would later be called punk, and they snapped away and took photographs. Luckily, also, one young astute person was in the audience with a cassette recorder recording the performance. And now, with enhanced colour photographs and an enhanced audio recording, created by the Budget Guitar Show, we can now see exactly what happened in that 20 second moment. <laughs> Well, suffice to say, that fight made the front pages of the music papers the following day. And punk rock was now known by quite a lot of people. Obviously, as we know, the Pistols went on to infamy with later publicity stunts and some fantastic music. The Nashville Rooms in West Kensington itself banned the Pistols from ever playing there again. Today, the venue is still going strong, but is now called the Famous Three Kings. Thanks for watching the show today. If you've enjoyed it, please do remember to give this video a thumbs up, as that really does help out the channel. And if you want to comment, why not do so down below? I must thank our budget backers, who are of course right here, 
and I'll see you with some more content very, very soon. But until then, stay safe, stay safe, and do keep rocking.